Hello Bees Bladers! Welcome back and welcome newcomers to the channel. I have a brand new knife that I'm getting ready to show you. Oh yeah, and it is unbelievable. Oh yeah, would you look at that and all of its wickedness. It comes with a blown up model on the little thingy do here and nice packaging. Oh, wait till you see this. I hope you're having a fantastic, a grand day. I know I am and I know one thing, these are well packed. I've already had it out. I put it back in the package and it does come in plastic. And let me show you this just real quick. If you do get one of these knives, don't think you're done when you open the box because if you open it up and look down here, it comes with all kinds of accoutrements a sticker and all that kind of fun stuff but this is one of the impressive things it comes with all I mean a complete set of replacement hardware it comes with all the hardware it comes with another pivot it also comes with washers and more captive ceramic ball bearings would you look at that so that is very very cool and check it out it also comes with a steel lock bar insert. It comes with all of the extra goodies and a cleaning cloth. So that is very, very cool. And for, the, for this knife, I wanted to make sure you know all of the extras that come with it because this is not a cheap knife. It is a premium knife. This is the Caval Knives Rip Back. Would you look at it? Just look at it and wow, is this a collector's knife or what? And it is built like a tank. It weighs 4.63 ounces. It's not as heavy as it looks, but it is very, very solid. Look how solid the back is. It's like two solid chunks of awesomeness were put together. This is a frame lock. And by the way, this is titanium with titanium inlays. And here's a little bit of texture vision for you. Perfect, and I mean perfect texture on those inlays. I love the coloring on this. Here's a close-up look of the pivot. The pivot collar looks outstanding. And if you didn't know, this is a Pakal knife. This is a self-defense knife. And if you're not familiar with the, what that is, I'll show you right now. Pow! Right in the kisser. Oh, 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 yeah. It is that wicked. Whoo! Look at that puppy. This is 8.7 inches long. This blade is 3.85 inches of black stonewash M390 compound hollow grind. And oh yeah, it's pointy. Wow, that is pointy. This knife is designed for piercing and it is also designed to be reverse gripped just like this. This is how it is held in a self-defense situation. Oh my goodness. I would not want to be on the other end of this if I was a bag of mulch. The ergonomics obviously were well planned out. If you look here, how it fits my hand, like a glove, it fits wonderfully. <laughs> and I mean, oh wow, oh my goodness. This thing is, I mean, it is dreamy. This is also a collector's style knife. This could be a collector's knife, but it's so tough. Plus with all the materials that you get, that it, it could be an everyday carry knife because you're not gonna be worried about scuffing it up or scratching it up. It does have some very good grip back here on the jimping. The jimping works spectacular. So if you're gonna hold the knife like this, it's not really designed per se to be held like this, but if I hold it like this right here, you can see that this, this indentation or this little arc right here does come into the pad of my thumb and that isn't too bad. If you wanna hold it like this and actually do some traditional cutting with it, or if you're like me and you wanna do some fine point draw cuts or utility style cuts, it's gonna, it's gonna work for that. <laughs> and I'm gonna tell you, that's what I will be doing with this. And you know, if you just want a completely wicked looking knife in your collection and one that you can get out and you know, you'd be like, oh yeah, I have an Amazon, Amazon package. I'm going to need the Caval knives ripped back for this situation. So the reverse flick is very comfortable. Can I flick it with my thumb? And not so much. Let me try it again. No, um, what I'm doing is I'm pushing down on the lock bar. And here's a look at that lock bar. And there was a replacement. Let's see. Oh, okay. Let me get a little flashlight here. Let's take a look. So to access the over travel stop, you will take it apart. So you do not have an over travel stop screw on the outside, which just adds to the overall aesthetics of this bad boy. So that is very nice. Very, very nice. Oh, and if I didn't say it before, this is a Tiguas design and this screams to be a Tiguas design. He makes some really nice knives. And this is a milled titanium clip. And I, you know, 
know what? I like the way you're going to like the way you look. <laughs> I can't help it. I always say that. I like the way this is beveled or contoured outwardly to grab a hold of your pocket. Woo, man. And you know, I'm not feeling that pocket clip and no matter how I'm holding this knife. And I guess you could hold it this way if that's your style, but I'm just letting you know that the ergonomics are fantastic all, all the way around. I don't remember how much this one is. I do know that this is a premium knife at a premium price. I will look it up and put the links down in the description and in the comments. But looking down once again at the Caval Knives rip back, this is a beauty. I am glad that it is in, in the collection. And don't forget on Friday nights, Bees Blades live at the Hive. All right. We will be talking about this bad boy and all of his bad arsery. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. So tell me what you think about it down in the comments. Do you like it? Are you good, bad, and different on the subject? I want to know. And make sure you hit the thumbs up if you like Bees Blades content. I really appreciate it. YouTube appreciates it. And go watch this video. You're really going to enjoy that. And until I see you in the live or the chats or the comments of this video, remember, live life in the present, keep a band-aid handy, and don't cut yourself.